Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar for NoProblemPolyrhythms.com. In this video, we're going to take groups of 316 with our bass drum. Now, if we play this in any sort of quarter note based meter, we get a 4 over 3 polyrhythm. So, if we were to take a bar of 3, 4, so just 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a, and then put a bass drum every third 16th note, I guess starting on the first one, we would get four equally spaced bass drums over our three pulses with the quarter note. I'll demonstrate nice and slow. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four. So without further ado, let's put this into a really simple beat. We'll take just a simple three, four, the snare drum on two, and our hi-hat going in eighth notes. I'm gonna accent on all the quarter notes. So one and two and three and. And I'll put 316 bass drum pattern. Now that we've got that happening, let's add some snare drum embellishments to make it not sound quite so stock and stiff. Uh, I'm gonna add a snare drum accent on the and of three. Now, if you notice with my ghost notes, I'm still gonna play that 316 revolving pattern with the snare drum just offset slightly from the bass drum. Check it out. Alright, let's take another quick option still in 3-4. So as we had the snare drum offset from the bass drum, we also don't need the bass drum to start on beat 1 with this. So uh, I'm going to start the bass drum on the E of 1 and I'm going to play my snare drum in quarter notes. It gives a really kind of cool feel. Another fantastic option is just putting it in 4-4. Now, if you don't want to go over the bar line, you just have to cut the bass drums off at the end. So we're going to have a bass drum ending up on the uh of 4. So we'll have 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. There's tons more content coming. Thanks, guys.